Hello, so today we are going to do a little tour of my beauty room slash office. You might recognize the background behind me. It is where I have filmed a lot of my videos over the last probably three, four, or five years. And I wanted to film this video because one, I've been promising to do so, but two, this actually will no longer be just my beauty room slash office space. As you guys know, the Bo and I are expecting our first baby, so this room is actually going to be turned into both of our offices. So um, we're going to take a whole bunch of stuff out of this room and kind of move it around. So yeah, essentially we're gonna share the space. So the nursery or our baby's room is actually in the process of getting finished, but in order to do that, we kind of have to reconfigure some things around. Um, so that's why I wanted to get this video up before basically everything behind me goes somewhere else. It was a lovely run. Um, I had this space all to myself for a little over five years. Um, but yeah, now we have to make room for our newest addition that's coming soon. So I wanted to kind of commemorate this room in a video. So let's get started. So when you come into the door, you have this kind of setup here. Um, these boxes are all empty. They're just boxes from handbags or shoes. This vase is from HomeSense and the cherry blossoms are from Pacific Mall. And the painting is also from HomeSense. I just wanted something here to fill up the space. Otherwise, it's just kind of one big white wall. The focus of this room is definitely the Billy bookcases. They take up a large portion of the room. And um, as you can see, I kind of just have some random things on them. So in this first Billy bookcase, I obviously have shoes stored here. So um, the majority of my shoes are probably here. I also keep some shoes in their boxes. Um, seasonal shoes like boots is usually in boxes in the basement when they're not being used. And we also have um, like a shoe shelf in our entryway closet. But these are kind of more the shoes that I would wear to work or bring to work. So in the winter time, I usually pack up a pair of shoes in a shoe bag and just pop it into a work tote. And you know, in the summertime, I'll just take something from the shelf and then wear it out. On the top shelf, I do store totes, which I usually um, use for work. I also do have glass doors on this bookcase just so that I guess everything just stays dust free. In this corner bookcase, I have some extra scarves and dust bags up here. Again, I have another glass door on this one. Um, I do keep washi tape here. I love washi tape and I needed some place different to store them. So I just kind of have in this acrylic container. Handbags down here. I have um, some art supplies, I guess. They're for my bullet journal. So I have some Tombow brush pens and some Scribbles That Matter brush pens. There's another handbag. And then the bottom shelf is where I just keep miscellaneous paperwork. This is another wide Billy bookcase. The top one is where I have books and some professional development binders. And I have some picture frames and photos. These are roses that I actually dried from the Bose proposal. So uh, these are probably six years old now. I also have these like little figurines here um, from the Bona. We actually had ourselves 3D printed um, for our cake topper for our wedding. So this is me in my wedding dress. And then this is the bow in his suit. And I haven't really found a nice way to store them yet. I wanted something like this to store them, but I haven't found one that I really liked yet. And it was uh, big enough to fit both of us. Here I have um, some perfumes or fragrances. I have Glossier U. This is from Sabé Maison, which is the Parisian Rhapsody, which is a fragrance I bought in Paris like three years ago now, and I still really love. I have a backup of Glossier U because I really do like the fragrance. And then um, Chanel Number no. Five Low. The next shelf down is a salt lamp that I have. Uh, I can't actually plug it in because there's no outlet over here, so I need to find a better place for it. Um, and then I have this extra Google Home Mini, which we're probably going to be putting in the baby's room just so that it can play music and things like that. And then the bottom two shelves are actually empty for the most part. Some of these boxes do contain things, but they're just kind of miscellaneous things that I don't have any other place for. In the last Billy Bookcase shelf, this is the narrower version. Again, I have a glass door on this one. I just have some picture frames. Here I store my glasses 
just regular eyewear. Um, sunglasses, some handbags, some miscellaneous like clutches and wallets, and then also another handbag. Then we have my desk. So this desk is from Ikea. I've had a lot of different desks over the years in this area. I like this one the most because it does have drawers that I utilize for lots of different things. And it's just kind of something separate from my beauty closet. So this is more of my workstation as opposed to like where I put makeup on. This chair is from Shrektube and I do like it. Um, the only thing is it doesn't push underneath the desk. So it kind of just always hangs out um, in the middle of the room. So when I'm sitting, this is my view here. This first drawer is where I just keep miscellaneous things. Some headphones, um, a tripod, my laptop case. In the second drawer, I have a bunch of other miscellaneous things. Um, some electronics, I have a bunch of wires and cords here, um, things for cameras, so extra batteries. Uh, this is what I usually typically use for vlogging, it's a Canon G7X. I have some stationary supplies here, hand cream. Um, this is a phone that I use um, when I actually am talking on the phone, although because my phone no longer has um, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, I have to use a dongle with it to actually use it, but it's actually a little bit more comfortable than talking on the phone itself. Uh, plus it's a little bit old school, I like it. So this is what I actually keep on my desk typically. Um, this lamp here is from HomeSense and I have a Wi-Fi bulb in there so I can just time it to go on at a certain time and I can also ask uh, Google to turn it on. So I have a little Google Mini here. I have a wireless phone charger. Then I have my laptop over here. Um, I use this little diptych candle for pens. Again, mo mostly for my bullet journal. Um, I have extra brushes here that I actually need to wash. I usually keep them on my desk to remind me to actually wash them because if I leave them in the closet, it'll never get done. Over here, I have another Muji case. This is the five drawer Muji case and I like it for storing my pens. So I have um, lots of different pens in here to actually write with and also for my bullet journal. And then this is just a mirror from Ikea. So this corner has been essentially where I've been filming a lot of my videos lately. It is actually a closet as you guys may have seen in uh, my declutter video that I posted over Vlogmas. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up. These shelves are from Ikea. They're from the Algot system and it's actually a closet system that you can customize to essentially however you want it. And I just use it for essentially storing all of my makeup. These acrylic drawers, as you guys may know, are from Muji. They're just great because it's easy to see everything. Um, they're also relatively easy to clean, although it's kind of a hassle to clean them because you have to take obviously all of your makeup out. For seating, I just have a really simple stool that I got from Ikea. Um, this trash bin is from HomeSense or potentially Target. I'm not sure, I can't remember, I've had it for a long time. And the table is also from Ikea. So this is actually a dressing table, so it comes built in with a mirror. And if you don't have too many things in here, you ac actually fold it down, so it's really nice and compact. So over here, I keep essentially my daily makeup. So I pull it from the Muji drawers and I just stuff them in here. And then I have bases over there and just some setting sprays and some miscellaneous things. On the desk, I have some brushes, some cosmetic sanitizer, lip balm, eyelash curler, also just some miscellaneous things. In these drawers, I keep blushes and bronzers. This drawer is mainly cream products, but I do have some palettes and just some bigger um, powder products in here. I do keep lipsticks in this top drawer. The second drawer is more like lip pencils and glosses. Here I have mascaras and eyeliners and brow products. This top drawer, I have eyeshadow palettes and other eye products, concealers and primers and then I have powder products on the bottom. So my makeup collection has definitely gotten a little sparse over the years, so one of these shelves has very little product on it. It's just some setting sprays and um, some sanitizers. And then the very top shelf, I just have um, some miscellaneous things. You might remember my nail polish wall. Um, these 
shelves are from Ikea. They're actually for picture frames, but I repurposed them. And you might be able to see how I have a lot less nail polish than I used to. Top row is actually for hair stuff. And then I have nail polishes and then some more hair stuff. I also have this utility cart here, which I use to essentially store my hair products or my hair tools on the top. So I have my Dyson hair dryer, my Daphne hair straightener, some brushes, have some extra makeup bags and then nail polish remover because this is kind of like my nail polish kit here. And then on the bottom, I have an abundance of Glossier packaging. So that is a quick tour of my beauty room slash office space. I will try to update you guys on how it looks like in the future, which is gonna be relatively soon. And then maybe show you guys um, how our nursery looks because it's kind of a work in progress right now, definitely not ready. But like I said, I wanted to just commemorate this room, really just for myself, um, because in a few short weekends, uh, it'll be completely different. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.